Okay, everyone, welcome back. This is more of a dark room, and when I left off, I actually accidentally left this uh, Firefox uh, minimized in my background as I was uh, converting and uploading the uh, episode one story time part. And uh, so I've now got 5,000 wood in the bank just by sitting here. And uh, I mean, uh, how many people do we have? 20 to 20. Like, these guys have just been working the whole time. So, I mean, we can just go nuts with this. I mean, 5,000 wood? I mean, there's there's no way. Like, we gotta get a trading post and, and be able to trade. So let's build a trading post right now. Not enough fur. Okay. Really? Really? Really, guys? We have so much wood. We need to get more fur. How can we get more fur? We can get it by, uh, let's see. I think it's, what is it? How do you get more fur? Right there. You can get a little bit by hunting. Um... Hunting seems to be the only way. So we're going to go all out on hunting here. All 20 of them are going to go out hunting. And we're gonna just going to go nuts with this. Let's go. A firelit room hunting. Okay, can we build a hut? We could build a bunch of huts while we're waiting. And then go build the trading post, which we'll just save up 400 for. Let's go build a bunch of huts. Bunch of huts. Bunch of huts. 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 Look at that. We're going to have so many, so much population. We have a large village now at 48. Let's get more people gathering wood, although there's no one gathering wood. More huts. More huts. Oh, that one was that one was a little pricey, actually. Oh, no. Uh, okay, we're going to get up, up to 400 again. Look how pricey these huts are. They're now cost 80. A convoy lurches in equal parts worry and hope. I agree. How many are in here now? 45 out of 56. That's like massive. Wow. Wow, okay. <laughs> okay, so we need to get some more um, fur. Is that what we're working on? We need 100, I think, eh? So we're getting kind of close to our objective. That's really exciting, guys. Look at that. We were, our population just skyrocketed here. Uh, another small group arrives. We got a convoy lurching in. That was pretty exciting. We're up to a large village. 54 at 56. So if you build huts, they will come quick. Like, look how fast they showed up there. Man, that was quick. We're going to have to get a uh, trading thing here, and then we're going to trade like bonanzas and, and really have a good time at this. I think we're just going to gather wood and stuff, basically. Oh, can we do it now? 400 and almost. We got 99. We need one more. Uh, no, we're not. We need that wood. Get out of here. We have it. Let's build a trading post. Now the nomads have a place to set up shop. They might stick around a while. That's awesome. Oh, we can buy stuff. Look at this. Awesome. Uh, we're going to want to buy... This costs fur, fur, and fur scales and teeth. Interesting. So fur is quite valuable. So we're going to want to keep some people on doing fur. Oh my goodness. Look at this. we got 34 gatherers now. Look at the population we got here. Let's throw a couple onto these guys here just to, just to help them out. I, I'm going to have to work on the balance of this a little more, but I'm just excited to have like... There we go. How's that? Five on those and then ten on hunting because that really brings in the big bucks. Fur, we definitely lose some on and meat and bait we split okay so yeah that one's pretty expensive whatever this one is this is i think the leather making guys let's keep these guys working hard we can almost we, we want to build another hut here at some point stoke the fire oh the fire is the fire is warm so we might want to turn the fire up a bit here it's a little bit uh a little bit slacking off so the thing is to get huts i think i think huts is really the key yeah if we can keep on getting huts then we can just keep on going absolutely nuts with this. We probably start thinking about getting a workshop too. Um, we've got 10 scales, do we? We've got 10 scales, we've got 100 leather, we actually have almost 300 leather, and uh, and we've got, we wouldn't, we just need 800 wood, so the difference is 800 wood for a hut or 800 wood for a workshop uh, is the next question that we have to answer. Um, a workshop would be probably cool as far as uh, opening up the game a little bit more for us. Huts obviously would uh, bring in more people and allow us to scavenge uh, resources faster, which is obviously, I mean, everyone wants to see that come in. Uh, let's go back out here and make sure these guys are gathering wood and stuff. We're in a population, oh, no, now we're up to 55. <laughs> I was just about to say we're up to 54, and we're not getting any more people, but we are. So that's great. Um, good, good, good. We've still got, uh, it would be nice to get some more carts, although it doesn't let me build carts. 
for some reason. Perhaps we need a workshop, I don't know. Uh, I think that's uh, maybe it for this recording. Like, I could stop this recording here and just let it go play for a bit. You know, that might not be a bad idea. We're now back up to full population at 56 and 56. I think I think that'll keep it interesting if I just pop in and out and uh, let this game play instead of sitting here waiting for you guys to waiting for these guys to bring in their resources. We'll just let them do all the work and then uh, and then I'll see like I'll come back like once a day and or you know how I'm not sure how fast this is actually going to progress, but uh, we'll see. Uh, that that's the plan. I think I think that'll do good, and uh, then we can keep all these things uh, keep our resource stockpile high. You know, and be able to, like, we just, we have to, like, I just spent, like, you know, 5,000 resources in wood, you know, in, like, three seconds. So, uh, I think this game is a time game, and we're just going to have to put some time into it. So, I think that's where we end this recording, and uh, hopefully, I think this episode will continue into a bunch of different parts, though, from different days. So, I'll see you guys uh, later. Have a good one. Okay, everyone, welcome back. This is uh, a continuation. I left my computer turned off for about uh, maybe five or six hours and uh, came back to the game, and it doesn't look like it's advanced at all. Now, I know the wood, uh, I mean, some of the resources have increased here. Um, however, that's really just because I was sitting here watching the game develop and seeing how, uh, figuring out how I could uh, make this into a good uh, walkthrough. And I think the best way to do it is uh, just whenever I'm just working on something else, just I'll just play this game in the background uh, as minimized, basically, and then and then I'll check in on it every you know hour, or half hour, or three hours, or whatever, and then I'll have tons we'll have tons of resources to work with, and uh, and and but it will stop obviously. Like say uh, say I left this le left this running here and it got up to 1,500 wood. Uh, say say I was going to leave it for three hours, but you know, half an hour in, I got to 1,500 wood or so, and then it came up with a, a pop-up that said, you know, the wolves are attacking the place again. Then it would stop there, obviously. So I think that's how we'll do it. We'll just I'll, I'll let it play in the background, and then when I uh, check on, on check in on it, and, and we've got resources or we've got a story change, then I'll uh, throw on the rainy mood and we'll record it some more. So. Uh, just to uh, that's just that's the plan going forward for now, and we'll, I think that'll work. I think that'll be effective, because otherwise you're going to be sitting here, you know, watching hours of gameplay uh, of me just, you know, choking fire and then you know going gathering wood and checking traps, you know, until something happens, and, and the resources won't accumulate very quickly. So that's not fun to watch, and it's not really that fun for me to play, uh, you know, consistently. So I think we'll just let it play out this way. And uh, I think it'll be I think it'll be interesting that way. I think I think we can do it that way. So basically, though, uh, we do have 1,500 in stores right now, so we can go ahead and get the. Uh, I was thinking about what we're going to get. It makes way more sense to get the uh, workshop than the hut because uh, the workshop is obviously uh, the workshop will open up more. Um, like the game, I feel like won't progress unless I do the workshop. It'll open up a new tree of stuff. Hopefully, maybe items or uh, buildings to build. Whereas I can keep on building huts probably for years. <laughs> so we'll uh, we'll stick to. It's still doing that stuff. So we'll stick to. Uh, we'll do the workshop here. Workshop's finally ready, and the builder is excited to get it. Good. That's awesome. Oh, and look at that. See, we can craft all this stuff. We can craft torches, water skins, bone spears, rucksacks, and one armor. Is that level one armor, or that's just one armor? That's interesting. Okay, uh, I think we want to start getting like spears and torches. I'm not sure what a water skin is, um, and a rucksack would probably be good. It's like a backpack. And um, oh, mysterious wanderer. Should we trust this guy? Should we trust this guy? We'll give him a hundred. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay. Let's we'll see if he comes back with some more sales, and that will be uh, next recording. So uh, I'm gonna go to s to sleep now, basically, and then. I'll wake up and do some more tomorrow, and we'll just let this run in the background, and we'll see what happens with this game. It should be interesting. I mean, I really don't have any idea uh, where this game's going yet. I read a little bit online just to see if I could figure out how the game mechanics actually progress, but I did not spoil myself on anything, so that was good. Okay, that's it. That's all I got to say, and uh, I'll see you guys on the other side. Hello again. It's been about uh, 
I don't know, a couple hours. I've been checking in every once in a while and uh, stoking the fire like this and going out and gathering wood and checking traps and just keeping that up. And, uh, and there was pop-ups about uh, investigating noises outside, but I ignored them. <clears throat> so, uh, in the meantime, we have uh, now almost 8,000 wood, which is absolutely uh, amazing when you think about it. Oh, is this... It actually tells you, like, all these... I see. So we're definitely losing a lot of fur from our tanner. Uh, that's probably the only thing that we're really, like, seriously losing a lot of. Um, we do have five tanners. We can probably drop that. Drop that a bit, because I don't like losing that much. We'll drop some of this, too. And uh, we'll get some of these ones that have a lot more positives. Like, Hunter is positive on both fur and meat, so we'll you will up that some more. And that should be good. Let's try and balance it out a little more. Uh, okay, so uh, we've got almost 8,000. We could uh, start crafting some stuff here just for fun. I mean, maybe do some torches. A torch to keep the dark away. Another torch to keep the dark away. I mean, these are so cheap. How much did cloths? Oh, we got some 50 some cloths. Okay, so we got enough torches. So where do the torches go? Do we have. They're right there. We got four torches. Should we build a water skin for. Yeah, we've got so much leather. We can probably stop making leather. Is that in the tanner? Yeah. We, we don't need to make any more leather. We're burning through our leather. So let's go make some... some. Uh, we'll make one water skin. Yeah, okay, so it holds water. I see. Nice. And that went over... Uh, did something just disappear on my right side here? I don't know. I don't see the water skin over here. Bait, charm, cloth, cured meat, fur, weather, meat, scales, teeth, wood torch. I don't know. Bone spear for 100 wood and 5 teeth. How much teeth do we have? We've got 83. The spear's not elegant, but it's pretty good at stabbing. That's what we like to hear. Oh, we got a weapon now. Good. Uh, a rucksack for 200 leather. Sure. Carrying more means longer expeditions to the wild. Awesome. So we can't make any more water skins or rucksacks, it appears. Uh, based upon just like traps and carts, I guess. Uh, one armor. Uh, leather... 200 leather and 20 scales. Do we have 20 scales? Yes, we do. Leather's not strong, but better than rags, though. So our armor... Is that out here, then? Uh... Oh! No! Uh, we just lost, uh... What, 8 people there? That's too bad. Where's our, um, Armor gone to here? I don't see it on this list. Which the list is alphabetical, so that's helpful. Yeah, I don't know where the armor is. I don't really know. Stoke the fire again. Uh, okay, let's consider... Uh, see, fur is important because you all these things require fur at the, at the trading post. So we're really going to need to start, you know, saving up some fur. Um, tanner is the biggest way to lose fur. And uh, so we should be gaining fur now. Slowly. Yeah, we're gaining fur actually quite quickly. Uh, okay, we can build some more bone spears, though, for wood and teeth. Um, yeah, we can build quite a few of these, actually. Sure. Might as well be well-equipped. Torches. Build some more torches here just to keep ourselves, uh, you know... Oh, look at that. we got another family showing up. So I think we're going to spend some more... We're gonna, we'll get a stranger to show up soon, probably. We'll spend uh, a lot on, on these uh, huts here. Getting some more population up. So 800... 850, word will get around, 900, and we'll just check over here to see if there's anything, oh, a, a, a rashes village, is that I don't even know, I don't know what that means, this is exciting, um, we can build a compass, which would be kind of cool, actually, that's probably maybe the next thing we want to build, fur's not quite there yet, um, I don't think that guy ever came back with our wood, so we're never going to give him wood again. I don't recall, unless it just... I think it should have given a pop-up. A convoy lurches in, equal parts in worry and hope. Look at that. Look at that population now. 68. How much are we getting for huts now? Uh, so four per hut still. So nothing too spectacular. Um, I think we could just keep on building huts, I would say. Stoke the fire again, maybe. Throw another hut on there. A thousand for the next hut. What do you guys think? I would say so. We could probably put some more of these guys on here now that we've got 
a real nice, uh, whoopsies, we're going, actually going the wrong way there. Hunter and gathering is our big thing, and then these guys, whatever these guys all do. These guys are producing, uh, meat, food for the, for the group, maybe we'll make a little more of that. These guys are producing leather, and these guys are producing bait for traps, which we have a lot of already. We can't make any more traps. Uh, probably could make some more weapons, but I think we'll build some more huts here still. Oh, no room for more huts. So we're fully maxed out on huts now, which is pretty cool. Um, I wonder what's going to happen next then. A small group survives, so we're up to 75 population at 80. We've still got room for another person or people to move in here. Uh, I think we should build some more uh, bone spears probably. What do you think? Teeth? How much teeth do we have? Uh, 77. We don't really need teeth or scales yet for really anything. We need fur, more importantly. Um, so let's go build some more bone spears, I suppose. I don't see why not. Let's let's start. Oh, we got some more people moving in here. We'll just uh, spread them around a little bit here. Just keep our allocation good. Good. And uh, so are we full now again? Nope, not quite. 77 out of 80. Uh, no more huts, eh? I don't know what's going to happen after this. I need to go look up what... Uh, uh, here, let me go. Hold on. What does this mean? Let's go find out, peoples. What does this mean? Before I sit around here any longer. Hey! I definitely copy pasted that. Don't lie to me. Okay, really? A Rakuus? What's Rakuus mean? Rakuus apparently means. One second. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm using Mozilla. I really don't like it. Rough sounding and harsh, disorderly. Oh dear. This is not what I was expecting. A disorderly, harsh, boisterous, loud village. Interesting. For fully popped again. Uh, maybe we'll throw another person onto. Wow, they really burned through the food, eh? Uh, maybe we'll throw them onto. Uh, Oh, okay. Should we track them? Let's track them here. Not far from village lies a large beast. Its fur is matted with blood. It puts up little resistance before the knife. Oh, cool. Good. So did we get anything from that? I don't know. Uh, interesting. Interesting. Okay, so let's go and... Uh, that's because we got weapons now. We can, we're can we able to kill things. I want to throw another person onto some of these things here. Some of these are getting kind of expensive here, right? We don't want to be losing fur. Maybe let's throw them on hunting. Hunting's a win-win. Uh, we need to replace some traps. Say, eh? how many traps do we have left? Any? We we lost five traps. It looks like so we'll throw up a bunch more traps here, and that still leaves us with two thousand wood. So we could just go nuts with uh, with bone spears, I suppose. So we'll go nuts with bone spears here. Are these getting more expensive? No, it's not. Yeah, we're just going to go nuts with these bone spears. How much more teeth do we have left? Still got 40. We're gonna, just going to go military military nuts here. Okay, good, good. Gather some more wood. We need to be getting more fur than this, though. And we should be able to. I don't know why we're not. We seem to have a ton of leather, do we not? We do. Maybe we'll take some more off of this. I don't know. Like, it just seems like we have way too many, too, way too much leather, not enough fur all the time. Build some more torches. Let's get up to like 10 torches. Great. Uh, should we just keep on making spears here? I, I don't see why not. Like, what's the harm in, in getting more spears? We're gonna, we're gonna militarize our entire, uh, our entire town here. Not enough teeth. Okay, so finally we ran out of teeth. Uh, how do we get teeth again? I think from traps, eh? Pretty sure we get them by checking traps and stuff. Okay, so that's it! All done. We can't do anything else, really. I mean... Uh... We really can't. Oh, we can buy teeth for fur. But we don't have... Um... Enough fur. So we can't do that. There we go! 
So I think that's pretty much it. Uh, and I'll just let this run in the background here some more, and we'll see what what happens. I mean, the story didn't really advance very much there. I mean, we went out and, and killed a, a beast of some sort, of some nature or another, and uh, and he was showed who's boss. Uh, we need to get our fur population up, or, or resource count up, and then we'll see what happens from there. We definitely have a lot of bone spears now, which is nice. I mean, a quarter of our village has weapons, which is... I feel comfortable with that. If, uh... It's, it's always... Basically assume that when I'm in the background, uh, just letting it run, the population will be ma always maxed, because people will be flowing in when I'm not looking at the game. Uh and then it'll pause when someone dies. So that's basically what's going on, and I think uh, I think we're going to stop it there. Um, yeah, that, we're going to stop it there. Let's just... Uh, okay, check traps. If we get five... We do have five teeth. We can build one more bone sphere. Ta-da! Okay, great. That's it, guys. Thanks for... Uh, I'll, I'll check back in a bit, and we'll see where we're at. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we get some more uh, little boxes down in here, this region. Or maybe over uh, down here. I don't know. We'll see. And we'll see what happens.